Computer scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. ChatGPT is a revolutionary device, sure. Uh, most humans cannot write as well as uh, ChatGPT. But it's also completely unreliable. ChatGPT. Where is it really good and where does it actually struggle? The way it instantly answers our questions in human-like written paragraphs is astonishing, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, it's really bad at logic and reasoning and at distinguishing facts from fiction. They produce misinformation and it's going to completely change the world in the next couple of years. So how valuable is ChatGPT for us as a society? And is the AI system behind the bot really on the right path towards the advancement of artificial intelligence? Human beings working together in a collaborative way invent things. AI hasn't had hasn't independently yet invented something big. But people who claim that general AI will one day arrive there, and I, okay, fine. Well, let's start by defining what I mean by advancement in AI. Most experts agree that current AI technology eventually will advance to the point where it becomes artificial general intelligence, or AGI. And AGI is basically this. Imagine a program that could think and learn just like a human being. It's not just an algorithm that could complete a specific task, but rather one that can abstract, understand the world, and learn any intellectual task that a human can. Although ChatGPT can give some pretty human-like answers, it's not quite there yet. If we were to think of AI advancement as a timeline, we're in the stage of non-general, narrow AI. That's to say, current AI systems can only perform a specific task. They're still more than capable, though. With enough data, they're able to make remarkable decisions and predictions. ChatGPT is trained on lots of online text data, which it uses to learn itself how to predict the next word in a sentence, sort of like autocomplete on steroids. And what we see as a result is the bot giving us these astonishingly human-like answers in easy-to-read paragraphs. It's pretty remarkable, but only to a certain extent. I think it's pretty dumb, actually, and I think it is way overhyped technology. Just look at what happens when I ask OpenAI's DALI the simple task of placing two red cubes on top of one blue cube. The problem with this system behind the model is that it doesn't really understand the relationships between the words it uses and their underlying meaning. No matter how much data you have, deep learning just doesn't cut it for some reason. Here I ask ChatGPT to solve a simple logic puzzle. It goes, my brother is seven years older than me and my sister is five years older than me. In 10 years, how much older than me will they each respectively be? So of course, the answer is that they'll still be seven and five years older than me in 10 years. But this is what ChatGPT answered. In 10 years, your brother will be 10 plus seven is equal to 17 years older than you. In 10 years, your sister will be 10 plus 5 is equal to 15 years older than you. This is because time is moving forward at the same rate for all three of you, so the number of years you all age is the same. The difference in age between you and your siblings will increase by the same amount that you all age. So it responds in a very authoritative way, but the answer is false. And that's a big problem, because a lot of the answers it gives might not be true but they sure seem like they are. So it's not great at dealing with logic, reasoning, and truth. That's also why Stack Overflow, the popular programming resource, a cherished website where coders share information online, just banned computer-generated answers. A huge amount of people were using ChatGPT to post solutions to coding problems, solutions that seemed plausible but weren't actually true. Sometimes ChatGPT does indeed provide true answers, but Sometimes it's a generator of misinformation. And the problem is, we don't know when it's true or false. The CEO of OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, Sam Altman, actually addressed this on Twitter, saying, ChatGPT is incredibly limited, but good enough at some things to create a misleading impression of greatness. Here he openly acknowledges that ChatGPT might be quite harmful in the way it confidently expresses potential misinformation. But he continues with, it's a preview of progress, pointing to the fact that it's a step in the right direction, and things will improve if we continue to make deep learning applications such as ChatGPT better. But does making something bigger, giving it more data, and relying on its self-improvement solve the problem of reliability and truthfulness? Will simply scaling the system 
solve the so-called alignment problem, which means programming AI systems so they align with human values. And so the alignment problem is how do we build AGI that, that does what is in the best interest of humanity? How do we make sure that humanity gets to determine the, you know, the future of humanity? There might be something fundamental missing with these systems, an understanding of how the world works, of how objects work. That's also what we've seen with DALI, which is built on the same principles. The deep learning model behind ChatGPT is part of an approach of AI research called artificial neural networks that are inspired by the neural networks in our brains. The problem with this approach to AI is that it lacks the ability to encompass how our brains abstract, which is the part that's tied to reasoning, counting and doing logic. And as we saw before, it's not very transparent. Precisely how we design these systems and what we optimize them for uh, has a bunch of effects that are sort of not super obvious and depending on what you want the system behavior to be, um, the algorithmic choices you make are really important. It's hard to know why the given algorithm made the decision it made. Like with ChatGPT, we don't know if what it says is true or false. Google's new, highly touted AI chatbot Bard has already made a boo-boo. Uh, Google AI chatbot Bard offers inaccurate information in a company ad. So we gotta worry about that too, inaccuracy. Right, and then they can just say, oh, well, it's actually our model. Our model is a little messed up, not our yeah. fault. And you're like, are you sure about that? Don't you have to vet your model? Or Yeah, no. So what do we do to combat this? Well, there's a whole other branch of AI research called symbolic AI, or simple manipulation. There's actually a long-standing debate in the field of AI about which of these two approaches are best at building intelligent systems that incorporate logic, reasoning, and learning capabilities all together. Symbolic AI is the more classical approach, in which AI systems use symbols to represent everything in the world. It's similar to what we do in human cognition. Linguist Noam Chomsky has argued that we also use symbols like this, so-called symbol manipulation, to understand language. Well, in the case of language too, we have this whole totally unconscious set of intricate mechanisms. I mean, something's built into the, to the system? Well, I have no doubt that uh, most of the richness of the structure of language is just the biological property of the organism. Can't be, can't be taught any more than you can be taught to have two but you've arms got, and two you, legs. You've got no way that you can... And so this is how symbolic AI systems see the world too. So with symbolic AI, we can explain and interpret the reasoning and decision making behind the AI systems we build. Something I think we need to be able to do in order to really rely on the AI we create. The problem with symbolic AI though, is that it's not very good at learning. And that's where neural networks and deep learning shines, of course. Which is also why this approach has become so popular in the past decade. We have invested in deep areas of computer science. Today, our knowledge graph has over 70 billion facts about people, places, and things, and, and we can answer questions based on that. And each of these areas is being turbocharged by the progress we are seeing with machine learning and AI. Because of the growing amount of data and processing power in our world today, research in neural networks have swept that of symbolic AI in the past decade. Partly that's because with neural networks, the more data that's available, the better the AI. And we have lots of data now. Now OpenAI built ChatGPT as a deep neural network without the use of symbolic AI. So it's good at synthesizing information, but it has no values and it's bad at reasoning and doesn't necessarily know the truth. Let me ask this. Even if neural networks can self-improve to the point where they address and fix the alignment problem, there is still the issue with transparency. Can we really trust an AI system like a future chat GPT created solely from the neural network approach, the self-learning approach, to be aligned to our values to tell the truth without knowing how it reached a given decision? That's to say, without knowing the decision-making process. So there's this paper called um, Palm Satan, I think, by Google, where they put GPT-3 in a robot. And it works like three quarters of the time, and it's amazing. 
but a quarter of the time it doesn't work. Now imagine that you want to put your grandpa in bed and you want to tell the robot to do that, and three quarters of the time it does that, and one quarter of the time it drops your grandpa. Like, this right. is not good. And so that's the problem with where something like ChatGPT is heading. It's at the forefront of AI technology, sure, but the way it's built makes it so it lacks the transparency that makes it trustworthy. And moreover, deep learning systems perpetuate past data, meaning they might inadvertently be discriminatory and produce misinformation. Not because of malintention, but because that's just how the system works. Using deep learning and neural networks will probably be essential in reaching anything like AGI. But if we rely solely on this approach, we might always lack the transparency, abstraction, and proper alignment that's equally required. And so, what the AI system behind ChatGPT can do is astonishing, but its progression might hit a wall soon. And that's because it's being viewed as the next big thing in AI we might be overlooking the necessary cognitive components needed for us to reach true AGI. Maybe we should look more to neurosymbolic AI, a more recent branch in AI research that combines the two main approaches. One is what we call neurosymbolic AI, which is putting together this tradition of neural networks that's popular now with the old fashioned AI, trying to find some kind of synthesis between the two because they each have some value. The neural networks are good at learning from data, but they're not very good at abstract knowledge. And the old symbolic stuff is good with abstract knowledge, but not learning from data. In any case, we humans love to predict things, but of course, we're not always right about them. And that's even truer when it comes to predicting something in the field of AI. So who knows, maybe deep learning and neural networks might be able to solve the transparency and alignment problems alone. But right now, we need to figure out how we'll move forward if they can't. The progression of AI advancements is accelerating, and that might be because of neural networks. But if we don't fully understand the tools that are becoming a larger part of our lives, and if they discriminate and spread misinformation... How can we possibly have the slightest idea of what to expect? We should question if it's really a step in the right direction for AI advancement, for the AGI we want, and more broadly, for the good of our society. Leave a comment about what you think about this debate, and give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to support it. Thanks for watching.